What's up everyone? Welcome back. I hope everyone's having a fantastic weekend. If you're new to the channel, I'm Michael. This is Rusty. Uh, Lisa's supposed to be with us, but unfortunately she had to work yesterday and she's working tomorrow, so she's gonna link back up with us tomorrow night. But as you can see, we are driving, we are in a U-Haul, and we are headed back up to Lewis, Delaware to roll with the crew. So Shreddy's gonna be there, Brad Alec is there, uh, Bomber Marv is there, like the crew is there, we're gonna roll deep, but it's gonna be a blast, it's gonna be more epic than last time, and I'm so excited to share this with you guys. And on that note, like I really, really appreciate all the comments and the feedback, the likes and the follows. Um, the feedback really, really matters. Like I've had people tell me that I don't speak up loud enough and that's definitely true, so I need to work on that myself. And somebody else mentioned that the, the ambient music or the background music that I was playing was repetitive and annoying. And I can't disagree with that, so I've stopped playing that background music. And I do think it makes the videos better. I can be heard clear, but I do need to speak up, so I will work on that, like I said. So I did that and the videos come out better. Like, that was fantastic feedback. I don't have that background music playing repetitively throughout the video. And it does sound better, it does make the video better, so I really, really appreciate that feedback, y'all. Keep it coming, keep all the comments coming. If you guys get a bike, let me know what you got. If you want to get an aerial rider, use the code Rusty Roads for 50 bucks off and let me know what you're waiting on because those bikes are back ordered. And why? Because they're fantastic. The value is insane. The Grizzly, the D Class, the 48 volt X Class, the 52 volt X Class, the M Class, those bikes sell out and there's a great reason why. So hopefully, after our last trip up to Delaware and this trip up to Delaware, and you're going to realize why these bikes are such a great value. So if you have any questions on the X-Class, any questions on an aerial rider, I'll do my best to answer those. So unfortunately, we're running about two hours late because our U-Haul got towed this morning. And I know how the tow company is in my complex, so I made sure I got the pass out of my car. I stuck it on the dash of the U-Haul. But they're saying they didn't see it, so I came out this morning at 8.30 to load up and the van was gone. So two hours later, 250 bucks later, and proof that the pass was in there later, I'm back on the road. So keep an eye out for that video because I am going to post it. Enough about the bad news, back to the good news. We're almost there. We're about less than an hour away. So Rusty's ready to roll. I'm ready to roll. Once we get there, we're going to get the bikes ready and we're going to meet up with the crew and we're going to share that with you guys. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And after these videos, if you want an aerial rider, make sure you use the code Rusty Roads for 50 bucks off. So I'm going to go ahead and get back to driving, but stay tuned, hold on to your hats, ride with us, and let's do this. y'all we made it to Rehoboth Beach Bomber Marv is here Shreddy and Alec are working on Alec's bike what came off? you got another one? ah shit no here hold your bike hold your bike right there you go you go. well Marv has a knife and I've got bungee cord he's got a knife I got bungee cord we'll make it work You got that knife, Marv? <laughs> there we go. All right, so we got Marv's bike here. 72 mile per hour beast. Yeah. And what's your name? 
I'm Dina. Dina, Michael, Michael. Yeah. Rusty. Rusty. I'm glad we were able to ride this time. Yeah. What's going on, dude? Nothing hey, much. Rusty. I love your bikes. Thank you, buddy. Oh, shit. Cool. I love your bikes, man. How do you tell them apart? Oh, well, okay, subtle differences. The mirrors are different. Okay. Well, yeah, our pegs are now different. Okay. But, uh, and, and the thing is, every time we lock up the bike, we always keep the key in the, bat in the battery, and her key chain looks a little different than mine. Okay. So because we know which, it's kind of, it's a system to it. Yeah, I thought your girlfriend was coming. She was going to come today, because she worked yesterday, like, 12 hours. Yeah. And she has to work tomorrow. And after the towing and everything set yeah. us back like two hours, like she would have ended up coming up, being here for three hours and then turning around. Go, yeah. So she's going to come up tomorrow after work. Okay. And we'll be here till at least Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Break? Too tight? Yeah, I might have something. Oh, Mark got a knife. <laughs> so is that the that's the aftermarket controller that you yeah, put on it? Yeah, uh, it's the Bolton controller, yeah. Dude, what did this happen? What did this happen? Just now when he tried to put his kickstand up over it. With the spring in it broke or something? Yeah, Oh, broke. man. That's my favorite kind of kickstand, too. Yeah. You gonna work on it? Squad. Have like a battery warmer. That's yeah. good. Everybody's here. You're all ready to go. This crew is super nice to come here and meet me at the hotel. Help me get my bikes out. Help me get set up and being patient because i know it's nice out here and they want to be riding so i really really appreciate this crew really 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 appreciate it. so you guys see we got a speedometer now we got the kid cam up higher let's put our rear view camera on Oh man, it feels good to be on this bike after all that bullshit today. You guys will see that video on my channel where the U-Haul got towed, even though I had the parking pass in it. And I had to call the police and I had to pay 250 bucks to get the van out, even though the parking pass was in it. Whatever, it should happen. That was in Maryland. We're in Delaware now with the crew, so let's go. No more sad face. Got the kid cam going. Rusty's got his warm cap on. He's got his shades. Got the new handlebars. It's great. My gloves are always in my pocket. Like always. I put the gloves on and catch up. Yeah, oh, these handlebars are so awesome, y'all. Check out the video where I installed them. Phoenix Gold Wings. These are badass. I love all this real estate I have. I got my little side mirrors back, too. Yeah, let's Okay. Okay. Is everybody good? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you got a camera in the back. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. It gives great angles when you ride with other people. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Mm -hmm. Those bikes are so nice. What's the fastest you go on that? Uh, I think he's got 40. Wow. But downhill. That's awesome. I think with this one, with the stock tires, I got it up to 37 on a hill. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the new one, but I love the, how yeah. those look, man. I think every bike has got its thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's that narrow ass sidewalk. So what do you guys think of these new handlebars? Hopefully you can at least see the speedometer at all times, which is a goal of mine. But if you can see the whole handlebars, the rear view camera, the kid cam doesn't do much for you guys, but well, it provides you guys a view of Rusty. But now I really hope that with these new handlebars, like I get that constant 
view of the handlebars being present on the screen. I really like that look. So here's to that. I have my camera mounted and angled as far down as it can go, so. Yo, yo. What's that, bro? How far did you, how far did you all go today already? Uh, 12.8 miles to get to you. I appreciate you guys coming out and waiting for me. I was like, I, I didn't know, like, it, it'd probably just be easier to meet you here, you know, like. Yeah, that's, that's a nice little strip there. There's a tons of businesses I'm gonna have to check out. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna like that, yeah. They usually have this banging ass ice cream place open at the end that has like 120 flavors or something Shit. crazy like that. They used to have one with like a, a scorpion on top, like a, you, you'd eat a freaking real scorpion. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, like that's beyond Baskin Robbins there. Yeah, once I pulled up to the hotel, I realized why it was so cheap. Yeah. Because all the road work. Oh, all that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but 40 bucks, man, you can't beat it. Oh, really? That's 40 bucks a night. What? Hell yeah. And then you got a discount with your uh, job, right? Yeah. That's, that's pretty sick. It sucks it's going to get colder throughout this week. Uh, I'm pretty prepared. They were breaking their necks, bro. <laughs> I think tonight's gonna drop to like 37 or something. Hopefully it holds decent weather until at least Thursday. Yeah. So you liking those handlebars being able to just chill, huh? Dude, I love them. That looks like a really <laughs> position. But I was able to put my little mirrors back on too. Oh, hell yeah. Damn, you're gonna get the freaking little uh, bag in the back. Yeah. What are you gonna put on the rack? You got a bag for the racks? Um, I got a bag for the rack. Yeah. I'm thinking of either doing that or strapping the uh, the drone pack bag to that. Oh, okay. You got your drone with you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. I think he's got a Skydio. Yeah, I want to do a video where the Skydio follows my drone and traces it. <laughs> drones tracking drones, y'all. Only here. I'm really liking the speedometer app because clearly the bike's built in display speedometer is not super accurate that rear view camera doing its thing look at shreddy creeping we're going to that bridge you called us from yep cool that's the pizza shop i was at when i told you guys <laughs> that shit was good so where's where's the best tacos in uh in the area what's the best tacos yeah oh, man if it's open uh Go to Taco Rijo. Because we're going to be here on Tuesday. We got to get some tacos. Yeah, there's a taco truck that's so good, bro. Yo, it's always the trucks. But yeah, I don't know if you like like pork tacos. Nah, just fish. I've, ne I've never had pork. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just, it's... I've never had it in my life. I don't know what I'm missing. <laughs> no shit. It's fun to have it, so... <laughs> Yeah, they got some e-bikes too. Those are some nice e-bikes on the back of that. Yeah. They look like an electric XP. That's crazy, dude. E-bikers love e-bikers. Hell yeah. Does Huck discourage going on the sand or? No, they never said anything about it. They reposted it and stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> True. But it was fun as hell riding on the sand with this thing. Dude, I went to this, there's this place called The Point at Cape Henlopen Lopen that's close to Lillard. They're like letting you ride on The Point right now. Normally they don't let you ride around The Point. I'll show you on the map. It's literally like a little point. And it's just where the beach kind of wraps around. It's crazy. And then you can walk really close to a lighthouse. Oh, wow. Drone shots. Yeah, full suspension and doing this thing. Wow, look at that sky. I didn't bring a second battery. So this is the same way to the marina, right? So on the other side of the bridge, there's a bunch of trails, huh? Yeah, I think I'm going to start shift using my shifters actually now. 
Yeah. Because, like, whenever I go up a hill, I just pedal in seventh, and the motor gets me up there, and I help it. But I got to pedal pretty hard. So, just help it so like, the harder I got to pedal, it's like the less I'm helping the motor. Yeah. So, I'll probably shift down when I'm going up a steep hill. But if I catch the hill with momentum, it just eats that shit up, man. You might be riding tomorrow when it comes. It's... Is the, uh, the same company bringing it? That trucking company? Uh, no, it's FedEx, uh, like, surprisingly. Okay. Well, it's, it's a lighter bike. But he said, like, the boxes are really tough and thick, and the way he packs it, like, they won't get through. You, you should see the way Aerial Rider delivers their bikes. Yeah. The boxes look like they're TVs. Oh, really? So people, like, try yeah. to Yeah. <laughs> Smart. Was your box in good condition when you got it? Yeah, there was, like, one little hole in the middle, but nothing was on the other side of that hole, so. Okay. Yeah, like, the bike took... 20 minutes to put together it took 40 minutes to get it out of the box oh wow yeah they packaged the shit out of it man that's good yeah, yeah. oh shit yeah people kite surf there shit is tight that's what that is I think that's what it is yeah it's probably cold as hell out there turn here and check them out see if yeah riding. yeah let's see that'd be kind of cool Check this out. Yeah. Apologies for the wind, everyone. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Holy crap. That is beautiful. That's a screensaver. Go ahead and save this screenshot and then make it your background on your phone, y'all. Holy crap. This is amazing. Oh, there's two people out there doing it. You want to line them up here and get a pick? Yeah, let's turn it. Oh, ho oh, oh, oh. ho ho! Guess we'll do it here, not there. Man, that's some thick sand. That's a burnout, but now I don't want to get no more sand in my brakes. <laughs> here, monkey. Well, we all have different ones. Yeah. I, they all oh, you're going to eat sand. 30, uh, don't eat sand, man. No, you can't take them all. Yeah. Take that one. Well, you not have to go to Yeah, yeah, I know. How cool is this guy, y'all? It's a beautiful sight. The sky, the sea, the crew. Let's go.